Hello, I'm back again. Um, this time to talk to you about um, dust collection systems, not how to, to make one, but actually how to solve um, one of the common problems, um, which is uh, too much negative pressure in the dust collection uh, vessel, um, sometimes causing that to uh, implode or collapse um, completely. Um, and you also get that horrible noise when it happens, um, where the pitch of your vacuum cleaner goes up uh, and it just, um, it's not gonna do the thing any good. So there's quite a lot of solutions out there, uh, many of them involving actually bolstering out the inside um, of the collection uh, vessel um, to try and brace it uh, and stop it from from collapsing in on itself so I wanted to come up with a solution that was uh, you know rather than curing the, the the problem that it's it's created I wanted to try and avoid the problem altogether um, so in doing that I have come up with um, a, a very cheap uh, and easy design for um, a little venting valve um, that sits on the lid of the uh, collection bucket. So in a second I'll show you exactly um, how I've made that. Um, I'll give you a close-up as well, show you all the parts, um, show you how it's done and um, I'll do a quick demonstration as well so that you can see um, how that actually works in practice. So these are all the pieces that you need here. Chances are um, if you've made one of these systems yourself you probably have these bits lying around anyway. This acts as a seal from the underside. Uh, there's a little rubber seal attached to that there. Uh, we've got a nut and bolt, so the bolt goes through this bottom piece. Um, if we imagine this to be our lid with a hole in it, um, you can experiment with uh, different size holes. You just need to make sure that your hole is smaller than your ceiling ring here. So then we have this piece. Now this is what's going to hold it down, but at the same time it leaves uh, space so that the hole can actually vent. If you put a flat piece on here then it's going to cover the hole and seal it from the top, which you don't want. We then have our spring, which has become a little bit bent. Goes on there, up bit of bolt, washer, spring. So here, the more we do this up, the more compression and tension we get on that spring. And you don't need a lot actually, you just need enough for this to hold against here. And when this is sealed at this level and the pressure this side becomes greater than the force of the spring, that then just push open and allow the system to vent through there and equalize that pressure. So here is the valve um, installed uh, in place here. Um, this is the vacuum, so um, air is being sucked out of here and uh, dust is being sucked in here and into the collection tank um, beneath. So hopefully I can show you this um, actually working uh, and in order to do that I'm going to use uh, ironically some sawdust which I'm going to place down there. So what we should see is when I turn the vacuum on um, obviously air will be rushing out of here and into here but the valve should remain closed um, and if the valve remains closed that sawdust won't go anywhere. But when I block this while the vacuum is running, obviously it stops the airflow going in here, but there's still lots going out here. So we start to get a lot of negative pressure inside the bucket. You see the lid will suck down, um, but the valve should open and uh, this dust should fly in. So let's see. So hopefully you can see from the demonstration there that uh, that, that does seem to be working quite effectively. Um, I'm going to use this uh, probably for about a month or so um, just to see how I get on um, and then I will be um, upgrading some of the components of my uh, dust collection system. Um, I mean really I've only thrown the thing together as a, as a prototype um, you know just to see how well it would work so um, I've used entirely things that were just uh, lying around uh, you know within my grasp rather than uh, actually going out and, and buying bits and pieces for it um, but that will probably be the next stage for me. Yeah, hopefully that's been, been helpful for you and um, I will see you again 
next time.